So we're really excited for our guest today on the pod. We have here with us Tyler and Curtis, two local entrepreneurs with a progressive new take on brain chemistry. Together, they've created a new app called Planet Heaven that puts you in control of your body. I was trying this thing out backstage and it's the real deal. Well, what we're excited to tell you is that we have found the wavelength of energy that chakras flow on and are actually able to manipulate that and turn them up or down at the push of a button. Taking advantage of the fact that the body is just essentially one giant circuit. This allows us to easily control the flow of what we call juice. juice. Hashtag juice is life. Juice is life. I've been using this incredible new doorbell from Ding Dong Ditch with a built-in XD11 intelligence system. Need I say any more? It has a specialized infrared detection system for nearly half the price. Planet Heaven is the brainchild of two failed artists from San Francisco, Tyler and Curtis, who, after wasting their young adulthood making stupid artsy videos, decided to move down to LA and make it big in the blossoming wellness community. Curtis, do you have time to answer a few questions? No, I'm sorry, who are you with? You know, well, just a few things up front. I mean, the science is there. Okay, start slowing your breathing. Bring it back to a nice, steady pace. Ready to rock. Oh, frick, dude. Look at that. It seems to be the juice at work. How are you feeling? Very balanced. There's so much clarity soaring through my solar plexus. Finally, some good news. There are some wild concepts going on. Uh, not sure I totally get it, but I'll tell you one thing, my interest is piqued. Can you tell me a little more? I mean, basically, we're leading a public health revolution. Much like running in the 70s or yoga in the 90s. These days, it's all about the chakra. But a lot of people still don't know about it, let alone how to harness that energy. Fast-paced modern person just doesn't have the time or experience to properly center themselves. That's why we're tapping directly into the crown chakra and essentially just syncing that up to your mobile device. That sounds so easy. Exactly. We're built around the idea of simplifying complexity. Of these people are gonna wake up. Look what they're doing to our planet. I mean, look at the sky, people. You remember when we were kids? You you remember? You, you can go outside and you, you look up in the sky and, 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 and what you saw was nothing but the beauty of God's majesty. Now you look up and all you see is chemtrails and look, just look at this. Years and years ago, the whole community could just go there and hang out. And, and now there's no telling what they're gonna put there. Everyone prays to the same God these days. Everyone prays to Siri, to iPhone, to Android. When will you sheeple realize your fake God doesn't care about you? He, he just wants you to buy the new upgrade to the next best version of your new God. Your smartphone is an amazingly powerful tool, and you're probably not even aware of just how powerful it is. I can sit here in the park and access the World Wide Web, or I can call a friend in Flagstaff, Arizona, just to say hi. And those towers, 
that, that they're erecting all over the place. Oh yeah, it might make your phone go a little faster, but you know what else it's doing? This phone is emitting radiation microwaves. And these same very rays could be, let's just say, accidentally focused and evaporate all the water out of your body. Microwave? Now I know what you're thinking. You use a microwave to heat up your burrito. And that's correct. They won't tell you about it. You have to do the research. But you wouldn't stick your head in a microwave. Your head isn't a bean and cheese burrito. I tell you what, go outside and tell me what you come up with. Look at, look, look at this. This thing is practically smoking. If you were to read the small prints in the manual that came with this phone, it would recommend that you hold that device at least 0.98 inches away from your head. And you wonder why the babies are all born mutated, ailments that they didn't have when we were kids. No, no, A-D-H-T-A-D-F-T, -T, or whatever it's called. Hi, Sarah? Yeah, it's Dr. Fifi Doe. How's Flagstaff? Oh, it's about time. Is it about time? Is it Sorry, what? One more time? Okay, I'll, no, I'll call you later. I'll call you later. Okay. Bye, bye. Just look at this. I can't be the only one trying to open eyes. Think of it this way. Your phone is a high-powered radioactive satellite looking for a signal 900 times a minute. Even if you believe every single thing that they tell you, just look at the possibility of what can come of this technology. Man, 90% underutilization? That's freaking insane. If we could just get that up a fraction of a percent, there'd be global ramifications, for sure. We'd be as good as gods. Probably twice as rich, too. I mean, but yeah, it's mostly like about the science and, you know, changing the world. Not the just the science but the potential for ultimate healing and boundless energy. Man, but that extra energy, you know, we're gonna need more power coming out of the phones, but with all the FCC regulations and digital red tape, we're kind of fucked. I mean, from what I understand, a parent would do anything for their child. And what is a child? but the creation between two beings. Yeah, I think I get what you're saying. So you think it's the regulations that perhaps cause the downfall of your innovation? Well, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Look, science is science, right? And when you're doing science, there is some room for miscalculations. Walking alone on a crowded street amidst the barrage of families and strollers, I was struck by a single word printed on a baby's t-shirt. Nirvana. Hey, you notice something else? Look up.
What don't you see in the sky? That's right. There are no birds anymore. Have you noticed the irregular flight patterns of all the native birds of this area? Why do you think that happened? Hey guys, your boy, Charlie Jackson, AKA Charlie Prophet, back at it again, sharing the truth with those smart enough to listen. So a lot of you responded to my previous videos on 4G. Well, now we got 5G and it's a whole new generation of bullshit we gotta deal with. You remember when you were a kid and you used to burn ants with a magnifying glass on a sunny day? Well, these 5G towers, they're kinda like the magnifying glass. We the people, well we're the ants. And you know what's gonna happen once the sun starts to shine. All in the name of faster internet. What's the fucking hurry? You really need to download that hentai right now? In the grocery store parking lot? I mean, just wait till you get home. And remember, you can always trust the words of a prophet. Crystals are the vessels which allow us to truly communicate with the sacred orb of soil in which we inhabit. Like humans, crystals are natural from the earth and they carry its energy inside of them. The crystals can store the energies that you put in them. It's called intention. Yeah, we, we run in similar circles in the tech world. I think we met uh, bowling with some friends and they were they were giving me a hard time because you know I prefer to use bumpers really as a form of risk management I mean in order to maximize the fun of the game what what who who wants a gutter ball who you know yeah I mean it looks like trial is done we should have some really good data for like a rock hard pitch deck, you know? Well, yeah, we got to talking and uh, came up that my father is in business and, and has been, uh, you know, involved in a number of projects as an angel investor and... Oh yeah, he's like supposed to be a big shot or whatever, like Mr. Moneybags, so... Only an angel can tell the truth. Let's get some pizza. So this all sounds good, uh, but my father is not someone who does yoga or is into all this new age stuff. He's more of a numbers guy. 3.4, 2.8, you know, that kind of stuff. If daddy want to talk data, we can talk data till dawn, darling. Not to mention, we have our lives. That shouldn't be necessary. Back. Just have your numbers down and uh, be sure to dress the part. You know, no hoodies. Appearances mean a lot to the old man. As does eye contact. So many times. <laughs> you guys want to come to a cookout at my house this Sunday? Gonna be a lot of young execs there. Drinks and deals, you know the drill. Will your dad be there? Oh no. No, father is not someone you can just walk up to. Uh, to call him guarded would be an understatement. No, uh, he can only be reached by video conference. But don't worry, I'll hook you guys up. Cool. Right on. Yeah. Cool. You guys want any vitamin water or? Do you have alkaline water? Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you happen to know the pH level? We'll have to look. I, I don't know it all. Anything below an eight is practically doo doo water. So I guess I prefer doo doo water then. <laughs> uh, one doo doo water, please. You got it coming up. Nothing for me, thanks. One alkaline water, please. Sure. No, no scratch that. Uh -oh. Yeah, take down that baby shit. Yeah. Oh. Hello? Can you hear us? That motorcycle going by. Sorry about that. Uh, thank you so much for meeting us, Mr. Stan's dad, sir. Uh, 
I mu no, you must have like a crazy schedule, so. So we're just gonna jump right in then. Basically, we're leading a public health revolution. Much like running in the 70s or yoga in the 90s. That's, Stop I'm sure you've right heard of there. it. there. Let's just say, if you were a fart, I'd be smelling it. Wow. We're so flattered, honestly. Especially coming from someone with so much money like yourself. Money's just a piece of paper. Electric zeros. Ideas. That's what it's all about. My thoughts exactly. So uh, how much can we count on you for? Uh, I project two million would take us through Q1. I think what he means is... Uh, oh, no. I applaud the transparency. Let's not beat around the two million dollar right. bush now. My son Stan is a little benched. He would never tell me what he was thinking, but I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking we're in business. I'm going to be expecting 30%, of course. Even we split with you guys. Yeah, I mean, that sounds better to me. It's handsome, like the three of us. Speaking of which, I gotta run. Samba lessons are creeping up fast. Cha-cha, boys. Wow. Yeah, that was super easy. He's done this before. We always had the best intentions. The idea of maximizing the potential of humanity and bringing us up to the next level is something that's really appealing and the fact that we were doing that is worth something. Hi guys, this is me again. And here I would like you to introduce to a new app, Planet Heaven. Do you guys know what this app is about? This is about balancing your chakras. I just wanted to start off today by telling you about this amazing new app called Planet Heaven. I've been using it to balance my chakras, center my energies, and soften my soul. And it's been working. And when it comes to health and wellness, the first thing comes in our mind is to get in touch with our subterranean instincts. But something that's really been helping me is an app called Planet Heaven. I don't usually promote other things. It's possibly time. Mama Earth should step aside because there is a new magic mommy in town and her name is Planet Heaven. Given me a whole new outlook on life. Gerard, since you started using Planet Heaven, you have become the most generous lover I have ever known. <laughs> and my chakras are moving up and to the right. By activating the juice, you combine the chakras within the app with the juice of your natural chakras, making an oh-so-delicious spiritual smoothie, my friends. There is that phrase, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. How do you think the users of the app would feel about your intentions? Well, you know, part of that word is the word tension, which is, I would say we wanted to remove tension. Don't you wish you could just reach enlightenment already? Balancing your chakras takes a lot of work, oftentimes years of careful practice. But now, with the newest state-of-the-art spiritual technology, you can benefit from aligned energy centers in your body with just a touch of the finger. Need help balancing your chakras? There's an app for that. Find peace within. Paradise awaits you on Earth. Welcome to Planet Heaven. I tried everything to reduce the stress in my life. I'm always so itchy and I wake up in the morning doing, you know, a lot of pills, taking a lot of antihistamines, and I tried meditating, didn't work. Uh, I tried, you know, herbal teas, really gross. Tried yoga, just kind of fun, but like crowded. Then I found this app, Planet Heaven. Sounds pretty cool. Looked weird, worth a shot. So I was like, okay, birth chart, okay. 
put in my birth chart, I'm like, what is this app? Why do they need to know? But I do love astrology, so I was down. The first time I did it, I was like, whoa. <sighs> Everything felt just more balanced. I felt almost like I was tripping or something, but in a wholesome way. And I had a totally new mindset. I was excited to wake up. I started looking for work again, which was cool. I was thinking, oh, a lifeguard? That could be really cool. You know, I love being in the sun and working out. And I could just imagine out there getting my tan, being a hero. The job seemed like a good fit because of my interest in crystals and spirituality. I know and respect the chakra and would love to be able to spreading its truths and powers. I also love the idea of working from home. The earth is my home so I can really work anywhere. Sounds perfect! But could I really save a life with this body? No. Ugh, I'm so disgusting. And I tried this app again and I'm like, whoa, okay, yes, please. We're gonna just live my freaking fantasy, dude. I'm so hot. I started running again with new zest, reaching new speeds that I've only dreamed of. So yeah, Planet Heaven, thank you so much. My life is good. Everything changed when they came out with their new feature. Complimentary chakra coupling. Please don't be a weirdo. Please don't be a weirdo. Please be a weirdo, but you know, like a cool weirdo. Okay, Mr. Danny with the blonde hair and the nice headshot. They say man will see the face of God in the form that most appeals to him. Perhaps that can explain the empty sentiment inscribed on currency. I trust energy. It's one of the only things connecting the physical plane of existence to that of the spiritual. The only true form of power. A few of your critics have thrown around the phrase, playing God. How do you respond to that? I mean, you know, in a time where not as many people believe in God or are looking for alternatives, people are inventing new ways of harnessing power or unlocking hidden potential, so... So tell me about you a little bit. There are many energy vertices on this humble planet. Most just don't know where to feel them. And if they do, well then what? It's when one's bodily energy becomes synchronous with that of the Earth's. Only then can one achieve ascension. I wouldn't say we're playing God, but maybe, you know, God presented us with this playground and we're figuring things out probably at a more rapid pace than ever before. So, how wild is this app? Oh yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah. Can I ask how you use it? For sure, I don't want really to use it to do anything like naughty, if that's... Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, whoa, my chakra! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but um, I do use it to manifest things that I want. And what do you want? 
well, I got this audition. Um, hopefully I'll book it for this new dramatic series. It's like John Wayne meets The Sopranos meets Law and Order meets uh, like hip hop and R&B. Yeah, Western mafia dance. Yes, exactly. Okay. You got served energy. Um, I feel like I'm finally able to say what I want, you know, and I'm able to like get those things through manifestation. What about you though? Has it helped you at all? Actually, yeah, it has helped my stress a ton. And I guess it has kind of helped me, you know, motivate slash manifest me into getting a job that I really want, or at least applying for one. What job? A uh, lifeguard. Yeah, it'll be lots of fun, just like hanging out at the beach all day, working on my tan. Yeah, that sounds good. I and mean, also save people from dying. Yeah, that's fun too. <laughs> Find it heaven customer service. How may I assist you in your quest for enlightenment? Hi, I've been hearing a lot about this app, but I'm not really sure what chakra is. Well, I would love to tell you about them. A chakra is a spinning energy center in the human body that receives, processes, and transmits information, like a revolving door between your inner and outer worlds. Sounds intense, but how does that relate to my life? I mean, I'm a single mom with kids to feed. Your chakras relates to every single aspect of your life. Just as your DNA holds your genetic blueprint, your chakras hold your energetic blueprint. Any area of your life that you want to make better like health, wealth, or relationships can be improved by working with one specific chakra. What do you think of the name? Planet Heaven. Maybe what we're experiencing now is heaven, if we just appreciate this time that we have. Whoa, that's good. <laughs> yeah. You really are an artist. <laughs> but what if Planet Heaven is actually alluding to some valley beyond, some new realm that all of us that use it are gonna be ushered into? Like iCloud? <laughs> no, um, more like, like another dimension. Like, you know that feeling when you first open your eyes after meditating or like doing yoga or something and the world is all kind of like blurry and it's like you're almost in another plane of existence. Whoa. It's like we would be here in one second and then like transport or teleport to somewhere else. Maybe. I was thinking more like we're gonna start to kind of blend into this other dimension so that like we can start to see interdimensional beings like aliens or angels or like ghosts or something. He's, he's spooky, okay. That is making me think about the fact that we only use like 10% of our brains mm. and like, <laughs> we do. Maybe you. <laughs> okay, bitch, we do. And so the remaining 90%, like what if this app is helping us use it? That's like a myth though, right? Cause like we all use slightly different percentages and stuff. Einstein or like Michael, Michael Phelps. Phelps. <laughs> yes. Like they might use like 10%, but we only use 1%. Like right now we're probably only using 1%. So like what if this app helps us we actually use 99% instead? Whoa. <sighs> yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> wow. This has got me really excited for any new features. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely enjoying the complimentary chakra coupling feature. You're my CCC. You're my CCC. Cheers to that baby. Everybody out here looking all blissed out, acting a damn fool, big stupid smiles on their faces, staring blankly at their phones. See, I don't fuck with endorphins, man. You gotta be careful with those. They got you feeling fake shit, need more and more. Before you know it, you're a full-blown junkie in yoga pants. I know they all out here using this Planet Heaven app. Have you heard of this bullshit? Yo, I gotta make a video about it because anytime you search it up, all you see is this hippie shit and corny ass white people. 
but I don't think these people know just what they fucking with. I don't know how much y'all know about chakra, but it's something not to be dealt with lightly. If you're using the Planet Heaven app to unlock your chakra, you're going out the world bass hole backwards. For all the beauties and sensations inherent to the physical plane, the overriding notion is one of suffering, the quality most shared by the cognizant. But why are so many complicit in their suffering? Sure, there are pleasant enough distractions, money, property, carnality, family. But ultimately, transcendence is something which must be done alone and without possession. Would even the faintest memory of physical acquirements remain intact upon transcendence? And what of personal relations? What if multiple entities could achieve ascension in unison? Would we retain recognition when the attributes of the physical are disposed and the soul divulged? Our fractal energy set free in the ether of the spirit? going down for your crimes. You got another thing coming, Buster! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, well, this here town doesn't have to listen to the likes of you. There's a new mob boss in town, and he hates dancing. Oh, forget about it. I'm gonna... I... I'm gonna teach that out loud that there's no place for evil in these parts, and I mean it. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Honestly, you are very good. Oh, okay, good. I, th I mean, I can lie. I think I'm good too. I think I'm good. I think uh, I'm gonna get it. I don't yes, know. That confidence is so hot. Uh, I'm so nervous. So why am I so nervous? I'm so nervous. Remember, you're not nervous. You're excited. <laughs> no, I'm nervous. Okay, um, how about we use Planet Heaven a little bit? Get a little balanced, babe, before your call back? Mm. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Hey, it's not gonna hurt. The least it could do is kind of like put you at ease a little bit. No, I think I'm good. What? I don't know, I just, I think I want to get it on my own merits, you know? I don't want to have to use technology. I want to like, I want to, I want to do it myself. Okay. Okay. Well, how about I just do it and then I'll think about you when I do it and kind of put that intention out there. I think I'm gonna go. Hey, are I'll, you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'll see you. Okay, good luck. I mean, break legs, break a leg. Thinking about you. I told you Planet Heaven would work. No, it's, I, what? No, it's, I, cause I worked really hard on it. That's why I got it. Yeah, that, um, I mean, yeah, of course, but Planet Heaven obviously helped. I didn't even use the app at all today, so, I mean, <laughs> I, because I worked hard. Yeah, okay. I know, I know, you're, re you're very good. You're very, very good. Planet Heaven is great, though. Anyway, I guess I'm buying tonight because I'm going to be a rich bitch. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Yeah. Bye. Proud of you. Proud of us. Proud of me. Proud of you too, I guess. <laughs> Proud of you. Yeah, bye. Bye. Um, okay, but I still don't understand. How does a phone app help balance my chakra? Um, the fast-paced modern person does not have the time over experience to properly center themselves. Planet Heaven taps directly into the crown chakra and simply syncs it to your mobile device, providing users with ultimate chakra balance 
at the push of a button. Yeah, well, how does that really work, though? Planet Heaven's patented applied spiritual science works by creating a link to the crown chakra using an extremely safe combination of Bluetooth technology and RF energy. Okay, but what does that even mean? Okay, come on, let's put this thing away. Come on, what? time to go to bed. You don't want to get balanced before bed, babe? No, I don't want to. I want to go to bed. Oh. And I think that you're getting addicted to this no, thing. I'm fine. No, it just I helps me sleep. I know, but I feel like I use it every night, every day, and I'm just like, I think it's, I think it's done. We're done with it. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. I'm still gonna use it. Thank you, Dwana. I will cuddle with your boyfriend, but I will see you in heaven. As I penetrate the threshold of the energy vortex in which I've searched, my bodily energy becomes synchronous with that of the Earth's. Ultimate balance has been obtained. I am filled with profound peace as I relinquish my form to the light of the divine. Customer service, how may I assist you on your quest for enlightenment? Hi, yes, um, what exactly does Juice is Life mean? It's our hashtag, you know, like viral marketing. It's been very helpful in driving engagement. Pretty sure it's still trending. Okay, but why Juice? Like, get your juices flowing, but mostly just the hashtag. Okay, well, um, my boyfriend woke up and he has this, like, this, like, this, like, cool, like, of like juice like substance that's all over him and I, I i really do think that it's more than just a hashtag i'm so sorry to hear that is he okay i don't know i think i have to take him to a doctor or maybe like i don't know get one oh of those mri things God. i don't know i am so sorry to hear that i really feel for you guys and i appreciate your call is there anything else I can help you with? Look, your app is the only app he's given brain permissions to. He woke up and he keeps saying juice is life. He has this like, juice goop stuff and I'm freaking out. At Planet Heaven, we encourage users to cultivate their own inner peace. Next time we talk, there will be a lawyer present. Oh, okay. Have a nice day. Crystals had warned me about what I was doing. I chose not to listen. I deviated from my path for an easy paycheck. 
but that's a mistake I won't make again. Planet Heaven is a popular chakra balancing app created by two wannabe tech bros. But how much do we know about this wellness app and its mysterious creators? Oh my God. So I don't know how many of you out there are using this Planet Earth chakra app thing, but it's not what you think it is. And I'm approving. Planet Heaven is the brainchild of two failed artists from San Francisco, Tyler and Curtis. I don't think these clowns actually know a damn thing about the ancient powers of chakra, but somehow they convinced some important people that they did. Follow the money trail, and it leads to Peter St. Gabriel, heir to Prado Pharma, the largest manufacturer of opioids in the world. Now this company has been slammed with all the lawsuits, fraud, embezzling, kickback conspiracies, you name it. But guys like Peter always come away with their hands clean and their pockets filthy, as in filthy rich. But let's get back to Planet Heaven. The creators claim the app works by using an extremely safe combination of Bluetooth technology and RF energy. But how much energy is this app really using? This is Dr. Fiona Fifi, though, the leading radiation scientist in Lower California. Your head is not a bean and cheese burrito. Now you can see why there are limits and regulations to how much radiation your phone can emit. Specific absorption rate, SAR. The SAR value is the rate at which the body absorbs electromagnetic waves. Now she says the FCC limit to public exposure from cellular telephones is an SAR level of 1.6 watts per kilogram. Now Planet Heaven doesn't list their SAR level anywhere in their user agreement, but I ran the app through a diagnostic program and found SAR levels of 6.9. That's right, 6.9 watts per kilogram. That's like five times the FCC limit. So just what do you think this type of radiation exposure is doing to people's brains, man? Okay, we're gonna have a quick session here. Hi viewers, this is me, your digital influencer. Oh my God, I don't know what's going on. I woke up all slimy, do you guys know? I, I, I keep trying to use Planet Heaven to make the, the goop go away, but every time I use it, the goop, um, the goop is just more. You know how much I'm hating it at the moment? When I woke up and I was just trying to go to my bathroom to take my shower, but all of a sudden this happened with me. Oh my god, I'm just running crazy! Disalignment. I think maybe there's a North Node in Gemini. I don't know what's happening. I'm just oozing this primordial goo. Someone called PR person because my body's doing full oil spill mode. I'm just covered in this juice. I am going to need to divert some of the funds from our Save the Otters program uh, because I am in need of some medical attention. Anyone knows what's going on, leave a comment, but please don't unsub. Maybe the goop is a good thing. I'm not feeling... It is even going in my mouth. Oh my God, someone should definitely help me. For God's sake, help me. Have you ever suffered from problems down there when it mattered most? Millions of millennials suffer from millennial erectile dysfunction, and you are not alone. And if you're too embarrassed to talk to your doctor about it, you can head over to magicstick.gov and check out their free sample options. The work that they're doing for millions of millennials is really amazing. So you guys might remember a few months ago, we had on the air with us Tyler and Curtis, the so-called brains behind the Planet Heaven app. Today we have guest caller who claims that someone dear to them had an adverse reaction to the app, which resulted in cranial discharge. Danny, you're on the air with Tech Chat. Uh, am I reading this correctly? Cranial discharge, Danny, you're on the air with Tech Chat? Yes, this like weird, like, this like really weird, like goop stuff in it.
it's hard, you know, it, and it hurts. I, I, I got into this business to, to help people, not to hurt people. Help, not... I, I, well, if they can, in fact, prove that you were aware of the possibility of this neurological juice, they might have a case. But you weren't, right? Only theoretically. Plausible deniability, that's the name of the game. Where were your partners while all this was going on? Haven't seen them since the employee BBQ. We're being told uh, Things got a little out of hand during a team building exercise. Tyler stormed off and is on a vision quest or something apparently, and Curtis is holed up in his pool house. Neither one of them is returning my calls. It's probably all gonna blow over. Besides, most people don't have the kind of money you need to take on the big guys. Cases like this hardly ever go to court. What if it does? Oh, if they can indeed prove that your program is the cause of cranial discharge, we have a public health crisis on our hands. Mass hysteria, school closing, quarantines. But we haven't had any other people come up with similar symptoms, have we? Well, there's been some random people on, you know, on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and TikTok. But I don't know if they're just trying to be part of the zeitgeist or, you know, if they're trolls or it's like a meme type of thing. Those people are probably just haters trying to cancel you because they're jealous of your success. No basis in reality. The planet I'm an app is still completely safe and if it were up to me, I'd be hooked up to it right now. Perhaps you're not paying attention to the court proceedings, but we've had several medical doctors testify that these are long-lasting effects related to the use of your app. Um, Do you think those are fabricated? I mean, at the end of the day, medical doctors work for someone. They're on one side or another, so, you know, they have families to feed and much about this does your father know? I haven't spoken with him about it. I just, I'm, I'm reluctant to give him another reason to forsake me. Now, because I'm on his payroll, I'm obligated to tell him about this, but I would really suggest that you do the honors. I've gotten him out of a million of these little misunderstandings over the years. Thank you so much, Mr. Aquinas, for helping me through this. It's what I do. Take care, Stan. And remember what Bobby says, don't worry. Be happy. Oh, wow. wow. Look, look, see that? You see that? That's amazing. Hello, Stan. Hi, Father. Sorry to bother you. Uh, just felt like we should touch base. You know, I'm sure you've heard about the app and uh, some of the trouble we gotten into. Yeah, it was a great idea. It made me a lot of money. But no, cranial discharge. It's definitely not a cool thing. Yeah, um, yeah, I just, I really wanted to show you that I could be a good son and, and I, that I could be a businessman like you and, and that we could, we, we could be in business together. And, and I, could, I could make you proud for once. Um, but I failed. Like I fail, like you've seen me fail at everything. Repentance. I used to call you a bench in the past. And I meant it. But I think you've come around. People will forget. They'll move on. Except for the people uh, that their brains got zapped by your app. They'll have to learn to move on in a different way. Hopefully you can create an app to fix that. Well, uh, it's comforting to hear you don't seem to be too upset. Uh, so I guess I'll, I'll let you go. Have a great day, son. 
I'll just, yeah, I'll just keep you in the loop with the lawsuit stuff. Call me anytime. Okay, bye, 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 Father. Um, real quick before you go, um, I just want to reiterate how sorry I am for this and for everything ever. I understand. I forgive you. I forgive you. Besides, I did make a great deal of money. What about what about the geo? How much are that? Here, I'm just trying to get a balance inquiry off this thing. I, I just want, I just need to know how much money is on the car. Yeah, you know what, I think they charge for that. I just gotta go to my bank. Cause I, 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 can't, I can't pay $4 just to find out how much money is on the car. I've been walking down this road for half an hour, and I have not seen a set of eyes yet. I, I bet I could scream out, the planet's on fire, and no one would even notice. The planet's on fire! Look at that, it's fucking ridiculous. Our number one goal has been helping people, so like if someone was bringing water to somewhere that didn't have water, would you? question their motives. Look at all these people, just oblivious to what's going on. Everyone's walking around with their head in the clouds or the smog, the future remains of the chemtrails. What if planet heaven is actually alluding to some valley beyond, some new realm that all of us that use it are going to be ushered into, like another dimension. Are you seeing this? I knew it! Holy shit! Ah, that's it! Look! Are you seeing this? Wait till I get home. I can't wait to post this. Maybe this will be what you all need to wake up. all of y'all about this crazy shit, but nobody would listen. But now who wants a ticket to planet heaven?